Hello everyone, it's LEGO Girl, and today we'll be doing a review on this thing. So this, sorry, for, actually I'm going to move back over because I'm currently at my desk instead of the actual table I usually do stuff at. I moved some stuff around the room, I'm going to do that real quick. Thank God for rolly chairs, because if I didn't have a rolly chair this would be a pain in the ass to do. <laughs> so obviously as you can see, this is the MTT. I think that's what it is. It might be MMT. I, no, it's MTT. I'm correct the first time. But, uh, yeah. So, this, I believe, was or is a Hasbro product. Back when Hasbro sold these. Um, I could be wrong. It might be some other company. But most of the s figure stuff that I have that are more Clone Wars-y are, whoops, are uh, Hasbro products. I have a lot of these. This is not the only MTT I have. Or, no. AAT, sorry. I'm... Is it AAT or ATT? Whatever, it's the fucking droid tank. You guys will know what it is. Throw to me in the comments, I don't care. But, yeah, this is the AAT, or... I'm gonna call it the AAT. If I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. I'm tired of trying to say it right. But as you can see, I put two Genos and droids on each side, which look really cool. I actually worked my ass off trying to make them properly squat there so they look, re like, legitimately. And as you can see at the top, we have a droid tank gunner, or a droid gunner. Uh, I didn't have another one of the normal ba uh, battle Genos and droids, so I just used the commander for the Genosians, even though that doesn't make sense to have two commanders. But yeah, so... This is one of the color variants that I have. I will show the other variants at the end, uh, so stick around to see that. But yeah, you can see that it has really nice detailing. It actually does have firing missile pods down here on both sides, so you get six missiles with this and I believe a few extras. I sadly don't have any of the missiles because I bought this secondhand off eBay. Uh, but as you can see, it's got the nice little insignias on the wing and the side. It's got some really, really annoying stickers on the guns here. You can't really see it because of the droid, but there you go. These stickers really like to come off. And those are the only stickers. They're on both sides of the turrets, as you can see. This is a really cool thing, and if you enjoy Star Wars action figures, I heavily suggest to get one of these because these will make your make your collection look way cooler especially if you it's not required but especially if you can get every type i don't know if i have exactly every single type but i know i have at least five different variants this is one of the variants there's four others on the shelf up up above and i'll show those at the end like i said but as you can see you have turret the turret can move up and down it does not stay it's just it's bolted on by just plastic itself you can actually take off the turret i'm going to show you something really really cool with this too at the end um well a different variant but i'll show it in another video um because i can't really do it in this one i don't want to make this too long because my phone will, com will commit die upon itself my phone cannot handle anything anymore it does have wheels as you can see down below there is one wheel poking out it does roll here's the i need to be careful with this here's the bottom there's two wheels there and a two another wheel there and there's a nice little I think that is a sticker. I don't know. If that's a sticker, I can't tell. I don't want to hold it like that for too long because I don't want it to break. There's another sticker underneath, I just realized. So there are more than one sticker. I thought there were only two, but I forgot about the undercarriage. I don't know why they have stickers underneath there. If I got the set mint condition in box, I would have never put the stickers on because I'm very off about putting stickers on. Sorry, that was a bit of dirt. Um, this thing can come apart, which I will show you in a minute. But you can see both sides of the turns roll and the top of it actually turns so you can have it aim you can have it turn aim somewhere and fire it looks really good uh there are no batteries there are no lights there are no sounds it's just plastic hard plastic really good for it i personally love these because it's great for modeling as you can see it looks really good with the commander droid calling out uh where to go up at the top there you can see him kind of poking up oh my light just went out the I actually found those macros in, or binoculars or macros or whatever you want to call them. Whoops! In the bin, I just started cleaning up the bin, so I started putting these things together. Um, this is actually the only one that's missing the hatch pieces on the actual cockpit itself, which is upsetting, but it's okay. Now there is a cool little hidden feature that you may have noticed because I kept poking up here. This shell piece comes off on another variant. The only variant that actually has the function piece. For this is the 
very very tan gray uh, tan one. Now originally the button there's there's multiple buttons. These buttons are supposed to pop off the the wing pieces here, but they don't work. I don't know why. I guess there's something broken inside. I've never actually opened this up. This piece right here does something really cool, but it doesn't the, on the on the tan one. This piece, this little button here would actually pop this canopy off and there's a cool little feature that I'll show you right now. But normally on the if it was actually working, this piece if God, it's really hard to I, I'm scared I'm gonna hit the droids and knock them off and I'm trying not to. There we go. So this piece would normally go flying off like that and as you can see, oops give me one second to fix a little issue that I forgot to fix the last time. Before I started this video, my dumbass keeps forgetting to do things like this. Okay, so as you can see, oh, I hit one of the droids off. I knew I was gonna do that. But as you can see, there's a B1 in here that's actually a figure, and then I painted on B1. But that's not the cool feature. On the other one, when this pops off, as it pops, this thing, this droid that's embedded into the wall in the back, when you push the button, actually becomes destroyed. Watch that, watch this droid way back here, ready? Three, two, one. It becomes destroyed. It's really cool and I actually really love how much attention to detail with that came with this. And the funniest thing is when this, when you hit the button on the silver one, I haven't tried it yet, so maybe I'll do that in the next video or another video at some point. This piece is supposed to flip up, which hits this to go forward. And I love it because I assume the droid will come flying and doing like a somersault out, which I'm really hoping happens. But yeah, this is the cool thing about this tank too. Not only can the canopy come off, but you can do this. I'm gonna have to take off the droids, which sucks, but I can always replace them back on there. I'm gonna take out the gunner. I wish my camera wasn't so zoomed in. I don't know why, I, I can't unzoom it. It's like, it's like it's, it's, far, it's as far zoomed out as it can go. So as you can see, you can take the canopy off or the turret bubble or whatever. You could take the, bla uh, the cannon off you can take both of the turret arms off and the turrets can come out of the cone itself. And I'm assuming this is how it was set up when you bought the set. There's the other turret. Oh, whoopsie. So if I hear the most of the pieces. But I really like this uh, detachable features. Here's one of the wings. It looks like a giant piece of pie. I love it. Looks amazing. Here's the other one. And finally, here's what you're left with. At the end, after you take it all apart, this is the, all the pieces. I would assume this is how it was boxed when it originally in the box. I never got a mint sealed condition box variant when I first got these sets. I actually bought these all off eBay. But yes, this is what I'm assuming it came looking like with, you know, all the plastic wrap and all the crap put on it just to save it and not to have it shuffle around on the box. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly do a quick live build, so you're gonna get to see that. I wanna do this better, but I don't wanna show my face, so what we're gonna do is this. I'm using my stepping stool for this, I hope this works. <clears throat> okay, so here's the cockpit, as you can see. You know, maybe I'll just try this. Much better. Okay, so here's the cockpit, as you can see. You take a piece, and this is how you build it from when it being apart. Snap that into place. Makes an audible snap sound. I don't know if the camera picked it up. I hope it did. Also, if you wanted to make it look more more cool, I would suggest flipping this back to the regular style droid. Sorry, I thought there was a piece in there. Uh, regular style droid. Take the other piece, the other part of the fin, snap it on. You want to take the cockpit piece right here. Put that on. It doesn't really snap into place, but you'll know because it kind of wiggles, but it doesn't. I'm assuming this is because this is a super old set. It'll wiggle a lot more. Now, I'm going to say something right now. These pieces right here are the are agonizing to put on because you really have to snap them into place. And you got to make sure they're the right way. And the way you make sure that is the light tan part goes down and the dark tan part goes on the top. And what I've learned is you want to put them on perfectly. If you don't, it will look bad. I suggest starting with the thicker part, putting the thick part in first, and then pushing the other part into the set. Now sometimes these things like to be stubborn and they don't like to fit properly. 
So what you want to do is you want to keep doing it until it fits properly, and if it doesn't, then that's probably just a design flaw. Mine, of course, doesn't fit properly because someone decided to chew on the knob there, that little piece there. Both sides are knobbed on, or numbed on, and it barely fits in there. As you can see, there's a little gap there, which is aggravating, and it pisses me off, but there's nothing I can do about it. I bought a second hand. I knew what my consequences were. Oh, and this piece just fell off. This piece is very shitty. It does not like to hold on. But, turrets, you want to have the big laser piece on top and the little tiny ones underneath, and you want to put that on the correct side. So you want the, like I said, you want the big laser piece on top and the little lasers on the bottom, and you want that facing upright just like that. I'm going to put this back on here and hope to the gods it fucking stays, and I'll put my thumb there just in case. After that, now you can do this, you can either put the turn on, I like to keep the turn off so I can make it right and look at, make it look a little bit better. You want to take one side, snap it onto the side there, as you can see it's got a little suction cup piece there. Snap it on, and you'll know when it's on because if you lightly tug at it, not really pulling, not pulling too hard. I'm, I'm using little to no weight for this, and make sure it turns, if it turns and it doesn't fall off then you've got it on right. And then at the end, you put the turn on, and there you go. That is how you create one of these beautiful tanks. I would heavily suggest if you do not have one, to buy one off eBay or whatever secondhand marketplace you go to. I really adore this, and I'm sure any Star Wars collector for action figures would adore it too. Here's the uh, the light gray and dark gray variant. I will show you the rest now. So that's one. That's the light and dark gray variant. Then we have my favorite run because it actually works fully because there's a piece in the other mechanism for all of the rest of them that does not work but only in this one. This is the light gray. Light gray with sun uh with light gray with light or uh light tan, excuse me. No, tan uh tan with light orange, rustic, and then the trade federation common clone wars blue and gray. I love this one. The color looks so good. My head cannon is these were used in uh, Clone Wars battles, obviously. This was used on Naboo. This one was used in the Clone Wars, and that was used in the actual shows. My head cannon for the the rustic one that you can see has rust on it. I like to think that this is a Trade Federation uh, version that was left over from the Clone Wars, and the Rebel Alliance found it, and the Rebels are now using it to fight against the Empire. That's my head cannon for that. I also have this one, which I like to think this was one of the main tanks that would be stationed on Geonosis to protect against Republic attacks for the Geonosian, you know, things where they built all the damn droids. Uh, I will be doing a video at some other point later way down the road. I will hopefully make it uh, very soon, but probably not. I have a lot of stuff going on right now and I gotta worry about a lot of stuff so it's not gonna happen anytime soon. But this will be coming in a very future video where I will show the animation or the action of pushing the button, the pop you know, the front pops off, and so does the actual panel underneath. It does, too. I will make a video on that, and so many other action figures, as you can see. I have a lot of walkers that I will be doing a video on, hopefully next or at some point in the coming weeks. I will make this now, known now, and I will eventually do an update video for it. I will be doing an announcement. I don't know if I already did it. If I already have, then forget what I'm saying. Don't even worry about it. But if I haven't already made an announcement video, I will be making an announcement video very, very soon. Give me one second while I put these droids. Oh, these little brat. Put these little droids in the bin. I will be making an announcement declaring on when I will be uploading because my upload schedule will not be every now and again anymore. It actually does have now have a standard day. And I will be announcing that very soon if I haven't already made one. And if I have, then cancel what you just heard. It's not important. If you like this video and you want to see more content from my collection of action figures and Legos, uh, feel free to drop a like. It costs you nothing and it makes it means the world to me. And leave a subscribe, uh, throw down a subscribe button. Uh, yeah, not throw down a subscribe Jesus. Slap that subscribe button to help me out as well. And you know what? Leave a comment. Tell me which variant of this you would love to have personally. I would like to know, would you like the light orange, an orange, the tan, the tan and light orange, the rust, or the blue and gray? Let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.